My name is uh, Sultan Rais Ali. I'm a tailor and a fashion designer based in Kenya. I have the following to say about the ongoing debate on the importance and the relevance of the Kenyan fashion industry and the larger textile industry to the growth and development of this country. First is to say that as tailors and players in this industry, we are very happy to note that for the first time in the history of this country, for the first time since independence, a tailor, a cotton farmer, a fashion designer, and a vendor of textile products is at the center of the manifestos of the leading presidential candidates in an election year. This is to say that our time has come as uh, players in the industry and I'm rallying upon, I'm calling upon all of us to step up to this moment. That ours is an industry and an idea whose time has come and it is our time to grab this opportunity and improve our welfare as an industry. Secondly, is to say that we as tailors and, and fashion designers, we do not have a problem with our brothers and sisters who deal in imported clothes, popularly known as mitumba. What we're saying is what the government should do should move very fast to regulate the industry, like they have done for many other industries, like the automobile industry. I remember in November 2021, the government put out a, a, a policy that stops importation of cars which are older than eight years. And then a few months down the line, insurance companies locally say they're not going to insure cars whose value has dropped below 500,000 comprehensively in terms of you know, comprehensive coverage. So such measures have been able to improve the industry. As you can see, there are many automobile, uh, international autom automobile companies which have set up their production and assembly plants in Kenya, which is rapidly growing the industry. Another quick example is in football. You remember in the 2010, after the 2010 World Cup, the countries which underperformed internationally, like England, they moved to regulate the English Premier League to say that out of a squad of 25 people, because there, were, there was an influx in uh, foreign players playing in the league, earning a lot of money, you know, taking all that money back to their countries and their locally produced talents or not, you know, making it to the big stage. So they said out of a squad of 25 players in a team, only 17 need to be foreign and 8 need to be local. And such measures have, have been able to improve the English Premier League up to where it is right now, even in the performance of, the, of England internationally, it has really improved since that time. So thirdly, is to thank the outgoing government, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, for initiating this kind of debate. I remember you've really promoted the Buy Goods, you know, Buy Kenya, uh, Build Kenya initiative, and even your support for Rivertex, your support for local manufacturing companies, your, su your support for locally made uh, fashion items has really improved this industry. So this discussion is, is, is just getting started and you want the, the next government to, to, to be at the center of, of, this, of this discussion. And that's why as players, we are calling upon the Kenya Association of Manufacturers, our representatives in this association, to mobilize all the players and organize forums with their leading presidential candidates because this is the time when, when, when agendas are being, uh, are being planned. This is the time when manif uh, manifestos are being put in place and we need to be at the center of it. We need, our interests need to be taken care of so that come August and, you know, in the next government, we are going to make sure that this discussion about Mitumba and local fashion industry is going to be a thing of the past. Thank you very much.